Hello friends, what we will do is we will install SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server 2019 on Windows 19 2019 server. So we are working on Windows 2019. This is actually an instance in the cloud. So and uh, I have already downloaded and extracted the file of Microsoft SQL Server 2019. So let's start the installation. When you double click this file setup, it will run the installer. You can close this background music, <laughs> background screen. Please wait while SQL Server 2019 is being installed. So this is the screen what we have hardware software requirement. I'm pretty satisfied. I don't need. So what we can do is we can simply jump on to the installation. So new Microsoft SQL Server standalone installation or add on feature this is what we exactly we want and later on we'll do this uh, management studio also management tool so I'm going to install evaluation version I don't have any intention of uh, paying for it because I'm just a trainer so evaluation is good for me this is the license key 180 days evaluation is free from Microsoft so that's sufficient for me to evaluate and to try this Microsoft SQL Server. So use Microsoft Update to check updates recommended. Of course, I'm okay with it. Scan for product updates, download set of files, extract set of files, install set of files. These are all the steps you can see are going to happen here. As you can see, set of files I was already there so download was skipped perfect so everything is passed except the firewall which I'm okay with it it is a warning and I want to install all of the packages everything R Python Java full text semantic extraction so I'm installing everything all right so master data services everything I'm installing and the installation root directory instance root directory program files Microsoft SQL Server that's fine for me so the instance default instance is Microsoft SQL Server I'm fine with it uh, you want a named instance you can select that also but default is good initially So here we go. Use this SQL Server as a standalone. That's absolutely what I want. Use this SQL Server as a part of Polybag. No, no, I don't want nothing else. This is good for me. Install OpenJRE 11.0.3. Obviously, yes. And I don't have installation. Uh, GRE is not there on my system. So I'm fine with it. And these are the packages. So you can see that the service and the corresponding passwords grant volume perform volume maintenance task to Microsoft SQL Server oh, yes it makes sense to me collision default collision is fine this is SQL latent one general CP1 CIAS and this is what the collision is so default collision I'm selecting next so we want mix mode I want SQL server authentication also I want Windows authentication also so I have specified the password for SQL server system administrator that is SA account and add the current user this is mandatory step it take a couple of seconds but just give some time so this is my default user which is OPC and this is my SA password which I specified so Windows authentication will also work SQL Server authentication will also work data directories if you want you can change temp DB if you want to choose you can decide initial size max I think that's fine for me memory is good recommended and file stream enable file stream transaction uh, no I don't want this so default these settings are good for me does not meet uh, okay it says uh, default password let me accept it no you need to do it uh, you need to change it let me say it 
finally I could manage that and this is good add current user this is fine this is fine add current user for this distributed relay controller service next accept the settings license agreement and now it will uh, consent to install python will come after this mm, yes asking for whether you want to install python or not so i given consent next future configuration rules are ready to install so almost done yes now the installation will start so this is installing uh, finally the last step would be complete so you can see the installation of all the components is complete and it is succeeded so let's close it now let's continue with the management tools we'll install the rest of the tools also which will take me to oh come on this is no longer supported i want to this management studio let's download it free download yep 18.11 so save it first it is so fast So this is management studio sql server management studio with azure data studio wow cool we can click on install so once we have this we'll be able to connect to microsoft sql server 2019 almost done in fact you have you can see that there are other services if you want to install so let's restart so our machine windows server 2019 restarted after the installation of sql server let's start let's verify microsoft sql server 2019 and here we have everything about this so what we want is we want management studio let's see that do we have a tool management studio yes this is what we want sql server microsoft sql server management studio we will connect to the server so this is a server we are using windows authentication so it will connect without asking any password because we selected mix mode so you can see the system database is available here so this is the default uh, configuration we have master model msdb and temp db and database snapshots there's nothing data warehouse configuration nothing security here we will talk about logins and users and everything under security and the replication part so this is what uh, our sql server is so we have successfully installed microsoft sql server 2019 on windows 2019 server and we have installed microsoft sql server management studio thank you so much for watching